welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Marvel Legends video. Today, we're going to be checking out a brand new entry into their sub Captain America line of Marvel Legends, of course, featuring Dum Dum Dugan, Sharon Carter, and Nick Fury Sr., and Junior, so kind of sort of four pack, but really it's three. The box has gorgeous artwork all over, front to back, side to side, not much in the way of text, but the pictures are always nice. Here's the barcode. Now, mine came in from Entertainment Earth, and I would say, hey, go to Entertainment Earth and grab one for yourself. However, unfortunately, at the time of this video, it's now sold out. But if you are interested on Entertainment Earth with my links that I'll put down in the description below, it'll give you 10% off anything that is in stock. That's key, has to be in stock, and then you get free shipping on everything over 79 bucks. So it can include pre-orders and whatnot, but you're really only gonna see that savings if the actual figures, the items, the merchandise, is in stock, just keep that in mind. So while I can't help you with this three pack at the moment, there are lots of upcoming Marvel Legends figures to grab. I'm really excited about that Ghost Rider, and hopefully we'll be taking a look at him soon. But in the meantime, we got this three pack to check out proper. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends from their Captain America line. The three pack featuring Dum Dum Dugan, Sharon Carter, and Nick Fury's senior and junior. And so now here's everything taken out of the packaging. And I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time around. I'm not gonna go through each individual parts and piece and show it off. What I'm gonna do is a clean sweep right here. Every figure gets multiple hands, multiple weapons, attachment pieces, effect pieces, that's nice to see. You're gonna see a couple different head portraits that you can swip swap between the various bodies. And then Sharon Carter will also have the same, but on the female end of things. So you see it all before you, but let's highlight the highlights of the box set. So with Dum Dum Dugan, the weapons that you get, and basically Nick Fury and Dum Dum get the same weapons I like the ones that are black and then have a little bit extra paint, like so. That really adds to the weapons for me. Yes, they can be all kinds of sci-fi. They don't have to be, oh my God, that's spot on. But I like the attachment effects. Every single weapon can use the various blast effects. They have smoke effects. And that's really what I wanna see in an adult collector line like Marvel Legends. So for all the weapons, everything you see, they definitely succeed in bringing these shield agents to life. It'd be really weird if they didn't have these effects. And it would be equally as weird if Dum Dum Dugan didn't have his trademark brown bowler cap. The entire body is really nice. They really did a great job here for this shield agent type body, the white. The blues, it's all pinless, all the articulation that you could want. You have nice, crisp, clean decals for the shield logo. But I will point this out right here, and I think it's something that's always been with action figures no matter what. The guns, especially this one, doesn't look like it would be a handheld gun for these characters. It looks really, really small. Maybe for Sharon Carter, but I like that each of them have the weapon storage. For the most part, every single gun that you see will go into the holsters, peg holes, the blues, the whites, all the different straps, all the different belts, and like I said, plenty of articulation. Dum Dum, if you've never had a figure of Dum Dum, I think you'll be really happy at getting this one. So now, moving on to Sharon Carter. Again, not our first foray with Sharon Carter, but this is the opposite of what I wanna see with guns. I like what the gents got, she gets just plastic, silvery-ish type guns. This one looks like a noisy cricket from Men in Black. You do get various effect pieces. She gets green effect pieces, like we're in Star Wars. She does get an extra head portrait. Her hair is all slicked back into a bun. But I will say, the paint is beautiful. That is a really nice looking female head portrait. Of all the time it's taken to get here, I'm glad we finally reached this point. The long-haired Sharon Carter, 
is very nice as well. To this date for Marvel Legends, that's one of the best female head portraits I have seen them do thus far. She is pinless as well. She has double jointed elbows, so you can get all that articulation that you need. She's got upper diaphragm. She does have an ab crunch. She's got weapon holster storage, of which... I just wish she had a little bit more paint on the weapons. She's got double jointed knees. And then down here at the shoes, this is where the figure drops about 50 points. <laughs> I get what they were trying to do, but it looks like she tucked her white socks into her black shoes. I get it. This little paint thing right here, it doesn't really match. It, it doesn't succeed. This type of style of white to black shoes should be outlawed male to female and everything in between because it just looks terrible. So that's the only problem with this figure where I'm like, Ugh. where did your fashion sense go there, Sharon Carter? But I digress. Everything above that looks great. You can see the two different head portraits in comparison to one another, which brings us to Nick Fury, and I'm not gonna lie, that's the figure that I wanted the most. You also get his son, Nick Fury Jr., which it's basically the MCU version, the Ultimate Universe, Samuel L. Jackson, they brought him into the main Marvel Universe, it's Nick Fury's son, yes, he lost an eye. <laughs> you can't make this up. But like I said, I'm all about Nick Fury. Nick Fury, ever since Nick Fury and the Howling Commandos, way back when, that's how I kind of got into comics for the most part with my pops. He took me to Comic-Con. Nick Fury and the Howling Commandos was his big thing. I remember getting the Captain America issue, the all-important Captain America issue. Plenty of articulation in this, and it's a gorgeous head sculpt for old Sergeant Fury right there. I really, really like that. His uniform is great, very similar to Dugan's, but various straps, various belts have been changed. So there is a little bit of difference. And he does suffer from just the plain silver blaster. That's kind of a, yeah, I wish that would have been a little bit better, but he has holster storage. He's got the shield decal, the boots, everything very crisp, very clean. The white is pristine. That's a shock to me, but Everything about him is just what I wanted to see. And yes, if you wanted to portray him as his son, Nick Fury Jr., you can totally do that too. You can even put the head portrait on Dum Dum Dugan's body if you want. It's all interswappable. Choose your own Fury adventure. And thus, if you have been collecting Marvel Legends now for quite some time, you've undoubtedly amassed quite a shielded cast of characters, of which these aren't the only ones that I have, but I feel with all the modern changes, these are really the ones that all look good together. So you have Quake, which I think she's a standout. You also have Dum Dum, of course. You have Sharon Carter, Maria Hill, and then finally, Nick Fury himself. And if you were wondering, because I know you were, uh, yes, you can put the Sharon Carter heads onto the Quake and Maria Hill bodies. Those look pretty good. I actually really like that. I think that those fit rather nicely. You can also flip it. You can put Quake and Maria Hill onto the Sharon Carter body. Not that I'm saying either one of them have ever worn this costume, but you can do what you want. Now, in terms of other heroes like Daredevil, sure. Even though I think that this version of Daredevil, he's a little bit short, but sure, those will kind of go together from Iron Man to War Machine because in all honesty, even though I like Sergeant Fury as Howling Commandos, I really liked Nick Fury, let's say, on Spider-Man, Day of the Chameleon, heck of a job, Spider-Man, and then his other subsequent appearances on the other 90s Marvel television shows. If you've been following Nick Fury's story in modern Marvel comics, and you see him paired up with the Watcher, as weird and crazy as this is, if you know, you know, that's why I stuck the Watcher in here. <laughs> but... I have to say, with all the recent happenings with Capcom and their recent video game announced with Marvel vs. Capcom, I've been doing Marvel vs. Capcom videos and Street Fighter with the Jada Toys, Nick Fury and The Punisher. What a team up, right? Just like that old Punisher arcade game. Not so much the Genesis one, even though that was the best we could get outside of an arcade. But with all the Marvel Legends, like I said, if you've been collecting them, if you have the Reavers, Bonebreaker, Pretty Boy, and you have now this Nick Fury and the Punisher, yeah, you can really have a lot of fun. Even going as far as to reach into semi-sort of the MCU, I knew that that gangster pack would come in handy somehow, some way. Jigsaw, again, Pretty Boy with the Reavers. Yes, you really can have a lot of fun in your displays if you amassed 
quite a collection over the years. When it comes to, let's say, some of the bigger villains of that video game, you don't really have those on your shelf, but a Mr. Fix-It with his hat pulled down, eh, that might work in terms of battling these characters. And then, yes, getting a flight stand, having them go up against the final boss of the Kingpin. That's pretty cool. So through and through, yes, you can have a lot of fun with this new Nick Fury 3-pack. So that will wrap it up for my quick look at this brand new 3-pack featuring S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. You have Dum Dum Dugan, good old circus performer, Dum Dum, really enjoy him. You also have Sharon Carter. She looks great. Love the head portraits, not so much the shoes. And then I absolutely love that we got a new Nick Fury. And I do like that they threw in an extra head portrait so you could have Nick Fury Jr., kind of sort of the MCU now into the comic book. It's not my ideal Nick Fury. I'm glad that he has a son and all that, but nothing beats old fashioned, just do whatever it takes, Nick Fury. <laughs> I would love if Hasbro, Hasbro, if you're listening, make a Nick Fury and his Howling Commandos box set, please. That's what I would love to see. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything S.H.I.E.L.D., and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, welcome to Supreme Headquarters International Espionage Law Enforcement Division. We call it S.H.I.E.L.D., and it changes through every iteration of S.H.I.E.L.D., but that's the one from Spidey Animated, and I'm sticking to it. When I do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. 